Hello everyone, it is Debbie Mirza, the author of The Covert Passive Aggressive Narcissist. And this video feels very important to me, to the point where I started the video and I started crying. <laughs> so uh, this feels huge. I um, So I'll try not to cry, but if I do, no big deal, right? <laughs> um, there, you know, we get so many damaging messages from covert narcissists in our life, incredibly damaging. And some of them they say to our face, and some of them they, I can't even think of the word, but they, they instill in us, or it's definitely clear what they think about us. Um, and I think there, of all the messages that we receive from them, there are two that are the most damaging. And in this video, I want to talk about one. So this is one I'm sure they will never say to you, but you clearly get this message. I mean, in our lives, we, we have experiences, especially early on in life, that give us messages that we don't realize. And then our brain loves... Um, proof for these things that we hear and these beliefs we get and so we spend a lifetime building beliefs that end up being really solid neural pathways in our brain that we believe wholeheartedly so one of the most damaging messages we get from covert narcissist is that we are not worthy of love this is very uh, conditional love <laughs> that you receive from them. And it's really not love at all. But whatever it is, it's very conditional. And it's incredibly damaging to believe that you are not worthy of being loved. But that is what happens with these relationships, whether it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, parent, uh, sibling, um, they treat you in such a way that demonstrates that you are not worthy of love. They treat you, they speak to you in a way that lets you know you don't deserve love because you're to this or you're to that or you're not enough this or you're not enough that which is the biggest lie of all. And I especially, you know, it's interesting. I, I interviewed so many people um, for this book. I mean, in, well into the hundreds now. Um, and I noticed a difference between people who were married uh, to a covert narcissist or they were raised by a co covert narcissist. And there was... You know, the people that had been married, there was just this dizzying effect of what is going on. And there was a difference with people who were raised by a covert narcissist. There, there was a, um, you could really feel the life had been drained from them. And that happens too, you know, with, with long marriages. And especially the longer, the more draining I saw. And and it's very hard when you live with someone who so subtly puts you down for so long, especially when you're a child and all your beliefs and ideas about yourself and the world are being formed. This is huge on your psyche. And every single person I've talked to got the message that they are not worthy of love, that they have to be perfect, that they have to earn this love. And even then, <laughs> they're not worthy of love. So I want you to know that no matter what, you are worthy of love. You are worthy of kindness. You are worthy of being spoken to in a way that lifts you up and that actually helps you and 
it nurtures you. And I really, really want, what I want is, okay. <laughs> you know, people are always wondering, how do I heal? How do I get past this? I will tell you one thing to start doing right now that may be difficult for you. And I completely get that. Um, but it takes seconds of every day. If every morning you woke up and the first thing you said is, I am worthy of love. That's it. If you start doing that now, it's going to start retraining your brain. And your brain is going to be starting to look for evidence that this is true. And it will find it and give your brain evidence. And slowly over time, that neural pathway that you've developed over so many years that says you're not worthy of love will start to literally disintegrate while this new neural pathway is formed that speaks the truth to you that you are worthy of love. I promise you this. So much love to you today. Take really good care of yourself.